Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. And thank you for your support. Because of that, I have crossed the 100 subscriber mark. And my next aim is to get the 500 subscribers. So please support me to get 500 subscribers. Please tell your friends about this awesome channel. And thank you for the subscription. Okay, so let's continue our file upload part. So in the last episode, we have done the file path. We have done all these views and this stored section. So we have learned that how to get the stored path. Okay, now as we have implemented this, we have to store our file in our local folder. Okay, for that, after this, you have to say request and file name and you can say just save and after that just give the folder name and this public folder is which folder that means obviously we know that every public files is stored in this public folder but wait this public folder is not same as this public folder so where is that public folder so you have to go to this storage folder and inside that you have to go to inside app folder and now you will see a public folder so when you store this file or you will save this file that file will go inside this folder so here you have to say store not save okay so store and uh, let's just return that store okay so now it's good and let's go back and click upload again and yep you will get the file path okay along with the file name and the storage folder okay let's check that file you have here and you can see now this public folder has that file and you can see that this file is started with a r n r and in the browser you also see that this is started with a r n r that means your file that file is 123.jpg is now renamed and stored in your folder okay here is that file okay so we have successfully stored the file okay so there is another way of storing a file in your public folder but i will talk about that in a couple of minutes uh, before that i will just comment this out and i will just go to my browser go back click refresh and see what happened if i click this upload button without choosing any file let's see what happened click upload and you can see there is an error obviously because we does not have selected any file so how will we protect this for that level give you a unique thing and what that unique thing is you have to type just if and in this if statement you can type request and has file file name image okay now you can put this here and here again okay delete this okay and this says that if request has file file name is image and you can see it is very much descriptive if request has file what i am saying is what i am writing so it's very very helpful for you and it is easy to remember also has file has file okay so let's see and now when i does not have any file then return return what return no file selected okay let's go back choose a file click upload and yet we have the file in our public folder that is the new file okay and now when i refresh click upload without choosing any file you can see there is no error instead this text no file selected is here so we have protected our errors okay the next thing i want to show you is that what if you want to get the path of the file okay so 
for that you have to just type request and image and path let's just go to our browser choose a file click upload and you can see nothing why nothing because we have not returned this okay now click refresh and yep this is the same thing as we have seen so the next thing is what if you want to get the extension that means which file is this easy in the just replace path with extension click refresh and yep you can get the jpeg file so you can see how much easy is that okay so now the times come when i show you how to upload file with another method so here is that system we have uploaded the file okay now let's just quickly delete this okay and you have to use obviously just return <laughs> otherwise i will forgot i will say storage put file and now here i want two parameters the first is the folder in which this file will be saved and second will be our requested file you can do like this then file and file name is image okay now let's go and see what happened so let's choose a file 123.jpg click upload and you can see an error because this storage function is not in use so let's just quickly add this in our controller so i will say use illuminate and facades and here i will say storage now go back to browser go back again click upload and you can see upload is easily done so we have seen the two method of uploading a file and you can see that file is tp1 and something so here is the same name that means this is the this is also a way of uploading a file as i have told you we will upload file and we have to show that file in browser also so we will do that part in uh, next videos so till then if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe if you have any doubt just feel free to comment me if you have any doubt in your project if you want me to create a video for any topic just feel free to comment me and let me know what you think okay so you can follow me on twitter facebook and instagram and please share this video with your developer friends because you guys can help me to get my next goal of 500 subscribers on my channel so please support bitfumes and we will meet in the next episode till then bye